If you're a frequent viewer of the channel you've probably heard me say that I need a crimping tool and people recommended I should get the good stuff, the engineer being a recommended brand, it's made in Japan, those are more expensive but they have high precision machine jaws that produce perfect crimping every time. Other people recommended some cheaper alternatives but I went with none of those options, I got this Peron branded crimping tool made in China. This is from banggood.com which uh, provided this product free for the purpose of this review. There will be a link in the description of this uh, video uh, to the product so I encourage you to check that link out. This particular set uh, is model number JXD5 and this has a total of uh, 5 crimping dies in the kit. This will allow you to crimp a good majority of the crimps you will encounter and this was the thing that really made me want to order this tool because I don't want to keep 5 different crimping tools. It's more convenient to have one of these with interchangeable heads and just uh, switch the uh, crimping die when you move to a new set of uh, connectors. Now if we take a closer look at these dies I'm pretty sure these are die cast and not machined. Uh, this means their precision is not as good as you would get with CNC machine dies but we'll see later if this impacts the quality of the crimps or if they just have a good enough level to produce good crimps. The crimp tool itself is the ratchet type and this is good because the ratchet mechanism will force you to complete the crimping before releasing so you can avoid having uncompleted crimps because of insufficient force being applied or other reasons. The handle feels okay, uh, it's plastic but it does have these rubber inserts to improve the grip. The build quality is not too bad either, uh, it just looks like clean metal, no signs of rust or anything bad like that. But none of this will matter if the dies don't do their job and produce good crimping results. So let's get started on crimping a few different connectors and then analyzing them up close. I'm gonna start with crimping a couple of wire ferrules. These are fairly common connections so everyone should have a crimp tool for these. First I have this uh, thinner one which fits on the 1mm channel. The ratchet mechanism works as expected and only releases after a full crimp. And the result is perfect, a nicely crimped ferrule that won't be coming off anytime soon. Next we have a thicker ferrule on the 2.5mm channel and once again the result is perfect. This might depend on the proper size ferrule and wire combination but overall the tool performs really well. Next I switch to a different die which allows crimping of these automotive or industrial style connectors. I don't really know how these uh, are called but the ones I have seems to fit in the blue channel and required a lot of force for crimping. But that is to be expected because uh, they are pretty thick. I had to use both hands to complete the crimped but here is the result, it looks like a good crimp. The two metal halves don't exactly meet in the center but they're almost there and as a feature I guess the crimp tool also marks the soft plastic with some numbers. I don't know what they mean, if you know please leave a comment below the video. Next I switched to a different die which allows crimping of various blade terminals. I had these ones in an assortment kit and wanted to give them a try and I messed it up here because I had the wire inserted too far which caused the wire insulation part to catch on the part of the connector which is supposed to only catch the bare wire. So I grabbed a new connector, I made sure to correctly position the wire this time and it was perfect. The crimp just looked perfect, the two halves meet right in the center. I also tried the same style of connector but in a smaller size with a thinner wire and once again the crimp tool delivered a perfect crimp. I am pretty happy with the results I got here as well. Next I switched to a smaller die to try and crimp some DuPont style connectors. 
to some thin wire. The first try was with some AWG22 wire and I think this was too thick for this type of connector and possibly once again incorrectly inserted but looks like the connector struggled to cover the uh, insulation so for my second try I switched to a thinner wire AWG26 and this time the result looks much better. The connector completely crimped the insulation as well as the copper wires. Although I would consider this crimp perfectly usable, you start to see less precision here because the connector is so tiny and small imperfections in how the die is manufactured become visible here. I wouldn't call this a perfect crimp, but it's definitely usable. I got pretty good results considering I don't have any experience with uh, previous crimping tools. I would say the connectors I uh, crimped are usable. They might not be perfect uh, when compared to $100 tools which have CNC machine dies but certainly good and usable especially at hobby level and these differences might also be caused by my inexperience with crimping. You start to see some less than perfect uh, results uh, when you get down to these very small DuPont wire connectors but anything bigger than that they look perfect to my untrained eye. Whether or not these results are reproducible over the thousands of crimps or if some wear might appear on the dies I don't know that remains to be seen. Results may, may vary but this company also sells replacement dies at about $4 a piece and once again at hobby level it is unlikely you will have to do thousands of crimps to wear out your dies. So it makes a pretty good tool for hobby level especially considering uh, Banggood has this one on special for $25 shipped. And remember you will be able to crimp at least 4 types of connectors with just the one tool. So check out the link I've placed in the description. As always I would appreciate your feedback in the comments below. Maybe hitting that like button and I'll see you next week with a new video.